So this is the surface area and ladder area part two. So I just wanted to explain um, this figure one more time. So the ladder area, as, know, as we know, is the height times perimeter of the base. So there are two bases. This is triangle, triangle. It looks facing, but because you have rectangles around, it's facing forward. This is a triangular prism. So this is the height. And the base is actually this triangle and the, the other triangle on the other side. So the height is 5. Perimeter is 777, seven, seven, which is um, 21. 5 times 21 is 105 square meters. So we have the uh, ladder area for this just around. And then the surface area is the whole thing. So the ladder, ladder means side, side plus two bases so you have hp which is 105 times 2 49 radical 3 4 now where does this figure uh this number comes from when you have equilateral triangle we actually use this formula you know s square radical 3 over uh, radical 3 over 4 and that is the uh, equilateral area of a equilateral triangle formula so we have side is seven so i just plug the seven into there so seven times seven is 49 radical three four so this is the area of this uh equilateral triangle and then there are two of them so i this there are two b it's from the formula uh on the formula sheet so two times 49 radical four so um, that's where this came from. And then these two numbers, I cross cancel. So 2 can go into 4 twice. So I cross this out. And then I put this and divide by 2 on the uh, calculator. I get 42.45 around it. And then I'm adding to 105. That's how I got 147.44. So this is the formula for area of an equilateral triangle s squared radical 3 over 4 s is the side let's take a look at the uh, surface area of uh, the this pyramid hexagon you have hexagon on the bottoms so what we're going to do is write down the uh, surface area formula which is half times lp plus b this is from the formula sheet. And then we're going to find, um, right, half. L is the slant height, which is right here. Slant height, which is 8. Perimeter is 6 times 6, because they're hexagon, which is 36. The area of the base is... So, in order to find the area of this hexagon, area of a hexagon formula is half times AP. This is not given to you. You need to know that of a regular hexagon. So half times A, this is the A, 3 and radical 3. Perimeter is 6 times 6, which is 36. And you're going to do 3 times 36 divided by 2 half or 2 or multiply by half. That's 54 radical 3. So that is the area of the base. So we're going to write 54 radical 3. And then this part is 144. This, the base, is 54 radical 3. This is the area of a, rect a regular hexagon. And then when you add these two on the calculator, I got in round 237.53 square meters. So this area of a regular hexagon is not on your formula sheet. Area of an equilateral triangle, this formula is not on your formula sheet. So you have to remember. Let's take a look at this. This is also hexagonal prism. We have pyramid, now it's a prism. So it's SA surface area, it's HE plus 2, 2B. So we're going to do H is 17, P is 6 times 6, 36, and then we're going to find, use 54 radical 3, what we had here, 
but we're going to have two of them. So 2 times 54 is 108, radical 3. 17 times 36 is 612. Put this in the calculator and round 799.06 square meters. I mean, square, I mean, centimeters. So that's the surface area, the whole thing of this hexagonal prism. Uh, let's look at the cylinder. For this particular problem, you're solving for height. So we don't know the height, but they're giving you the answer, the surface area of this cylinder. So you have to find the height. So here, you're going to write, the, always, always look at your formula sheet, write down which formula you're using. Is it SA, surface area? Is it LA, uh, uh, lateral area? Or is it volume? So you have to see what they're asking you to find. So here, we're going to do, write down the surface area of 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. We're going to write 592.19 for surface area. And then we're going to write 2 pi, we know r, which is 6.5 here, squared, plus 2 pi r, we know r, 6.5, we just don't know the height. So we're going to do 2 times 6.5 times 6.5 and hit pi you get 265.46 and then 2 times 6.5 is 13 pi h we need to find h so what you're going to do is you're going to subtract 265.46 from 592.19 which is 326.73 equals 13 pi h. We're solving for h. So if we divide each side by 13 pi, 13 pi, we do this on the calculator, you get 8. So the height is 8 centimeters. So we just did a lot of problems for 3D figures. Everything you need is on this formula sheet. You have 2D here. You have area of a triangle area of a circle, you have all these figures, you have area of parallelogram, trapezoid here, you have volumes, a lateral surface area for prisms, these two are prisms, this is a triangular prism, this is a rectangular prism, prisms have uh, rectangles around, this is a cylinder, you have volume, lateral area, surface area, this is a sphere, sphere. Uh, volume surface area. This is a cone. You have volume, uh, lateral area, surface area, and then you have um, uh, um, uh, here. This is a rectangular pyramid. So a pyramid is s the lateral side is all triangle, and it points to the towards the top. That's a pyramid. So you have that, and this L means slant height. This L means slant height. P means perimeter of the base. Capital B means area of base. So um, it has abbreviation here. So it shows you what P means perimeter. B means area of a base. L L A means lateral area. C means circumference. S A means surface area. So it gives you, uh, tells you what uh, each letter uh, abbreviations represent. So please use formula sheet and then solve. So right now you're going to um, go to the worksheet. So the worksheet we have that I attached is the surface area worksheet. So I want you to use the formula sheet or the notes attached to do this. So try Find a lateral area for number one, all these figures, and surface area for these figures. And then you can try the word problem. Always write down under each shape what formula you're using. Label the numbers, whether it's height, like this one is a slant height, that's L. Okay, so you have to write that. And then make sure you write L for this one. 
that's also L, okay, and then find the surface area for the, the bottom ones, and then I'm going to put the answer key on Google Classroom, so please check when you're done, okay? All right, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you watch part one and part two. Take notes. Lots of questions on these or on the SOL. Thank you.